very careful that will be question not about gland, but about hormone produced by this gland or target organ for this particular hormone. Be very precise. Here that will be questions about movie. Remember? So repeat again. You have all answers in your lab manual. Go through these answers. Repeat again. Uh, that was frog. That was fish. And what else? Yeah, and that's it. And that's it. So, but repeat theory about those hormones. Luteinizing and follicle stimulating. Uh, acetylcholine, it's not hormone, but it's showed like hormone. And uh, epinephrine. And epinephrine. Okay, now. Here we already know all three will be vessels. Then here you will have station involved blood, theoretical of station involved blood. So repeat again. Type of blood zero. Well, you will see a picture from me, I will draw by myself. Remember, like you had these veils for mixing and matching blood. That will be picture like this. And the, I will write down and I will show you agglutination. So by this agglutination, you will decide and you will be asked what blood type you have here, what uh, resist you have here. And next question will be, uh, can you trans transfuse this blood to person and I will choose some other type of blood. Also here you will have question about erythroblastosis fetalis. It's all about rhesus conflict pregnancy. So repeat again. You have everything in your handouts. It's only, and they ask you, uh, if you have mother like this and father like this, I will put by myself. Can you expect erythroblastosis fetalis from child? So you need to remember. Only if you have rhesus negative mom and rhesus positive dad, you will expect it. All other conditions. Now you will have two arms. I'm sorry. Part more. Yes, I can ask you everything. You already know, right? If you don't have any questions about this, just ask me. I promise you that, uh, yes, you need to know. Ligament of arteriosum and fossa ovalis, I will ask you only in this heart. I will not use this heart. Uh, but everything else, yeah, it's interchangeable. I can ask you all other structures, either here or there. Yes, you need to know all three internal muscles. Remember, pectinate muscle, trabecular carne, papillary muscle. I can ask you on either of this heart. Everything will be easy. And your yeah, chambers, valves, vessels, yes, you need to know. Guys, by the way, repeat again these vessels because you will not know where it goes, right? So you need to know first uh, brachiocephalic, then and everything else. Thank you. Okay, two hearts. Now, two microscopes. You need to know all elements of microscope. So I will put some, uh, some sticker and they will ask you how you call this. Here you need to know also um, function of this because I will put sticker and question will be not name of this, but function of this. Also you will need to know, remember, what is it right or not, how it's set up, because it will be written. Uh, what is wrong about this microscope if you're ready to take it away? Same like you had in AP1. Also, they will ask you what is total magnification, same like you get in AP1. So, mm -hmm. But you're here right now, two stations. Now, here you have station about vessels, and I will use this guy and this guy. Guys, I remember, I like, and it's only one way for me to ask superficial veins. And yes, you need to know great saphenous vein, cephalic, basilic, uh, and, um, uh, cubital, middle cubital on this guy. On this one, I can ask you about pulmonary. Remember, this one is red, but they have veins, and this one artery. I can ask you the celiac trunk. Celiac trunk here, really nice. Other models will not give you this. Also, here and there, I can ask you a uh, middle sacral, and in both of them, we have very nice iliac common uh, external, internal, so here two stages.
application is really simple. Let and R my already go all through this. I told you. Here you will have theoretical station about blood. So read it everything. Epstein Bayer virus, infectious mononucleosis, eosinophilia. You have those diseases in your lab manual. If you know lab manual, you find. Also repeat why we need a uh, differential blood count. Exactly, diagnose disease. It's very simple. It seems like it's strange. Here, yes, you will need to identify uh, white blood cell, and also you you will have two different white blood cells, and you will be asked some theory behind this identification. Like, for example, give any feature of that particular blood cell. So yes, you need to know theory. You need to know. You can give me any feature. Don't try to give me everything. Just give me something. Like Color. Uh, see? Like granules? That'd exactly. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. Granules, color, percentage, function. Okay? Here the C. And here one of this. Actually, on both of them, we will have one of disease. We will have one disease here. We will have one disease here. I will use only one microscope. Instead of another microscope, I will use this model. By the way, you will not have this table. I will take this table out. But model, yes, you will have. And you don't have those uh, uh, tables also. Here you will have station. That will be some pictures, no color, I told you. That will be pictures of abdominal cavity. These veins, that will be picture of abdominal cavity, this arterias. You need to recognize by yourself what it is. And it will be pictures of uh, sagittal head, not sagittal, lateral view of head, artery and veins, and no color. So you need to recognize by yourself what you have. I may use either of these pictures or oh, I mean you this guy who I love <laughs> and you remember what I love on this guy right very nice vessels here and I mean you this one which I love and yes I will not open but even here you have vertebral you have basilar you have posterior you have um, you know stubs but it's internal carotid so I can ask you and it will be combination, so totally, it will be four questions, four questions here. Here you have theoretical questions about blood supply of mostly abdominal cavity. So repeat and know very well everything about, <coughs> especially portal circulation. So all details, it will be four theoretical questions here. Here you have a question about fetal circulation. Well, first of all, I can ask you, and what I can ask you here, I can ask you one of these vessels, you have red and big, that will be vein, and two blue small, that will be arterias, right? Remember, umbilical, right? Also you will have, you may have a theoretical question, what kind of blood goes by that vessel? This one or that one? Also, what else I can ask you? See, I have my probe here, so I can ask you for Amina Wally. Also, you will have theoretical question. What will be in baby after born, baby was born with that particular structure? So you need to know for Amina Wally, then will be fossa amalis. Ductus arteriosus, then it will be ligamentum arteriosum. Now you have question about the artery and I will not use slide, I told you. I will use this model. So you will need to recognize either artery or vein. And also you will need to recognize layers. Repeat again, name of layers. Also you will be asked about structural features or functional features. Now you have theoretical questions all about vessels. Uh, like for example, okay. Uh, vessel blah blah blah, I will put it. Supply what you need to write down. Or opposite, this part of the body blah blah blah, I will write down. Uh, drink by blah blah blah, you need to write down what kind of thing. Also, guys, remember I told you, you need to know by numbers because question put it by numbers and I can choose any of this. What the name of 
second uh, visceral uh, single branch of you, uh, descending aorta, abdominal aorta. So you need to remember, second, that will be superior mesenteric. First, it's severe front end, uh, superior mesenteric, and third, it will be uh, inferior mesenteric. So yes, here, it's all equations. They already put it. It's just my choice, which one I will pick. That's understandable, right? And finally, here, guys, remember I told you, you need to know the definition for just blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure. You need to know what's the danger of uh, life, life-threatening situation caused by, for example, hypertension or hypertension. Please don't give me, yeah, uh, not normal blood supply. Yes, it is, but it's not life-threatening situation. Life, if they ask life-threatening situation, what it will be? What? My cardiac infarction. Cardiac attack, give me something which is really life-threatening, because they ask for that. Plus, also on this station, you will have sigma manometer, and it will be here. So your job will be actually just... <laughs> it's a gift from heaven. I would never put a question like this, but it is, so it's a gift from heaven. Don't forget to do this. Okay, any questions now?